In this fast-paced, adrenaline-fueled episode of Weird and Outrageous Encounters, watch these breathtaking clips. Filmmakers are always out in the woods, observing wildlife and its natural habitat. But nature throws in a wild card now and again, and it's all caught on camera. Join us on an epic journey of discovery and danger, heartbreak and triumph. as we present a collection of incredible sequences exhibiting unusual animal behavior and heartfelt testimonies from eyewitnesses who were at the right scene at the right time. Enjoy 20 Strangest Animals Behaviors Caught on Camera. Number 20. Why monkeys, especially chimpanzees, hate their kind? Chimpanzees reside in colonies with clearly defined boundaries, and males guard the colony's borders. This is where violent fights are known to occur, especially when a patrol encounters a lone chimp from a neighboring community, but never before has so much information on the lethality of those interactions been compiled in one research. When the researchers analyzed the numbers from different chimp research sites, they discovered that the level of human intervention, such as whether the chimps were fed on their environment was restricted, had minimal effect on the number of chimps killed. Instead, the most significant differences were found in the number of males in each village and the overall population density of the region. These variables link the violence to natural selection. Killing rivals improves a male chimp's access to resources like food and territory. And, more importantly, it happens more frequently when there is more competition from neighboring groups, and the males can patrol in large numbers with less risk to their survival. Humans are not destined to be warlike, unlike chimps who occasionally kill their neighbors. Even in chimpanzees, killing is not unavoidable. Rates of killing by chimpanzees living in various populations vary greatly. Chimpanzee homicide, which has previously been estimated to occur at a rate comparable to that reported in hunter-gatherer human communities, fluctuates due to resource rivalry. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Pufferfish Crop Circles Divers know to look for underwater crop circles, beautiful symmetrical designs momentarily carved into the sandy seafloor in certain ocean areas. However, no one has been able to explain these events since they were originally observed in Japan in 1995. The enigma has finally been solved. Pufferfish are to blame. According to the study team behind the discovery, the large geometrical constructions play a role in the species' mating rituals. Males flap their fins laboriously as they move down the seafloor, causing sediment to be displaced and magnificent circular patterns to emerge. Even though the fish are just approximately 12 centimeters, 5 inches long, their formations are about 2 meters, 7 feet wide. The pufferfish constructs the circles over 7 to 9 days. Although other fishes build mating mounds, the pufferfish's design is distinctive. Outside the nest location, they first involve radially aligned ridges and troughs. Second, the male embellishes these ridges with shell bits. Third, the male accumulates fine particles to give the creation a specific appearance and color, according to Kawasi. Females decide whether or not to mate with a male based on his construction skills, though experts are still unsure what exactly females are searching for in their ideal circular design. Other things being equal, the female will lay her eggs in the center of the circle, and the males will fertilize the eggs externally, as they do with most fish. Number 18. Clever Orangutan Makes a Fair Trade with Human Orangutans fit in among the most intelligent animals on the planet. This individual not only understood the notion of fair trade and demonstrated integrity by refusing to return anything that had been purchased legitimately, but some may even recall the past, so we have to wonder if that orangutan will remember this unusual and wonderful meeting for years to come. The tally leaned against the exhibit's wall, which separated it from the rest of the zoo. and shouted out to the orangutan. The primate first paid little attention, and Vitaly began walking away with a disappointed face. Vitaly came to respond to the guy and leaned against the exhibit's wall, which separated it from the rest of the zoo and shouted out to the orangutan. 
The orangutan is staring at Vitaly. Both the guy and the beast lock gazes for a brief moment. The big orange furred beast then turns around and grabs what appears to be a banana from its side. He extends his arm and prepares to toss the ball to show some appreciation for the visit. Man and Wild developed a bond in front of a live audience. Vitaly raises his arms and says, I'm ready, as he recognizes the animal's aim. To the man's delight and the amazement of bystanders, the orangutan lines up his shot before flinging the banana over. Number 17. Smart Chimp Asks Zoo Visitors for Drink a monkey in a zoo enclosure has entertained the internet by asking visitors for food and soft drinks to be fed to him through a hole in the glass enclosure. The video, which Indian Forest Officer Susanta Nanda shared on his official Twitter account, made some people chuckle while making others sad because the animal was not fed. Users who could empathize with the chimp's hardship in the pandemic's stay-at-home instructions termed the video sad and encouraged the caretakers to uncage the chimp. Some people giggled at the chimp's famous technique of guiding the guests to pour him a soft drink through an opening in the glass. An individual can be seen standing outside a glass enclosure with a poly bag of fruits and soft drinks left on the grass in the video. The chimp motions for some of the food to be given to him. The visitor is perplexed and seeks about the enclosure for a way to feed the animal. It looks like someone made it up on. However, he effectively instructs how the drink can be poured inside utilizing tricks and ways found throughout the enclosure. While the human in the video is seen holding a banana and a bottle of cold drink, the chimp walks and jumps, communicating with the human to hand it over to him. In the 48 second video, he gladly drinks the soft drink from the opposite side of the glass with expectant and logging eyes. Number 16. Whale plays fetch with rugby ball. A cute beluga whale was recorded playing fetch with a World Cup rugby ball to interact with the crew of a passing boat. In this incredible video, a supporter of South Africa's World Cup winning team throws a ball for the aquatic mammal to collect in the Arctic. The man was on board the South African Gemini craft boat in the Arctic Ocean. He can be seen tossing the ball for the animal to retrieve. The whale finds its way over to the ball and carries it back to the boat. Norwegian fishermen discovered Havaldemir in Hammerfest. the world's most northerly town. The playful adult whale was carrying a camera harness with an equipment of St. Petersburg label at the time, which leads to speculation that it was a trained Russian spy who had escaped the military. The mammal was given the name Havladimir, which combines the Norwegian Hayal, which means whale, and Russian president Vladimir Putin. And now, the Norwegian Orca Survey's Havladimir Foundation has confirmed to HuffPost that the whale playing fetches with the rugby ball was the same one. Havladimir stayed in the region where he was discovered after removing his harness and frequently interacted with humans, creating alarm among experts. According to the Norwegian Directorate of Fisheries, locals have been saddled with the responsibility to feed the animal since it may become overly reliant on humans. Number 15. Penguin Chicks Rescued by Unlikely Hero as they decided to have their way to the sea without their parents, how can many emperor penguin chicks protect themselves from predators? They form a defensive ring around themselves, stand as tall as possible, and peck as much as possible. Also, a tenacious Adelie penguin might show up to provide a hand. As the chicks made their way to the water without their parents' supervision for the first time, a predatory giant petrel swooped in for what it thought would be a straightforward killing. The chicks attempted to flee but struggled to run on land, and one of them slid and fell, making easy prey for the predatory bird due to ironically uncomfortable feet. The clumsy chick had little or no hope when the betrayal seized him by the neck with his sharp beak. But a tactical tumble allowed it to escape and return to its group. The chicks gathered into a defensive circle, joined by their dead buddy, to protect each other from all sides. The hunt had come to a halt. After a lengthy standoff, the interests of an adult Adelie, a tiny but tenacious penguin species, forced the petrel to flee. Number 14. Giraffe Drink Pee of Other Giraffe It's fascinating that male giraffes sample the female's pee to see if she'd make a good partner. The flamen sequence is when a male giraffe approaches a female giraffe and rubs against her behind until she pees. He'll taste it to see if she's in heat or not when she does. He will begin stalking her, with the female occasionally walking or fleeing away from him if she is. 
During this period, he will try to keep other guys away from the female as he pursues her, which is typically the source of the female's rejection, as she tries to find a better male to take her place and fend off the present male. He will begin stalking her, with the female occasionally walking or fleeing away from him if she is. During this period, he will try to keep other guys away from the female as he pursues her, which is typically the source of the female's rejection, as she tries to find a better male to take her place and fend off the present male. Giraffes assert dominance by necking at high or low intensity when fighting a female. The low intensity type of necking entails squeezing their necks against each other until one of them becomes exhausted and quits. This type of conflict can linger up to a half hour before one of the parties decides to call it a day. The giraffe with the longer neck nearly always wins. Number 13. Parrotfish Mucus Cocoons Parrotfish are beautiful reef-dwelling fish found in roughly 80 different species worldwide. They spend days scraping algae off rocks and corals with their beak-like mouths, feeding the reef and fostering its growth. Some species hide in cracks or burrow into the sand at night, while others do something unusual. They envelop themselves in a mucus cocoon. Glands secrete mucus within the gills of the parrotfish and slowly emerge out of the fish's mouth. The transparent cocoon encases the fish and provides additional protection. It took up to an hour for the whole thing to finish. The mucus cocoon is thought to help hide the fish's odor, reducing the likelihood of predation. A barrier against parasitic isopods is another benefit of the cocoon. Isopods are crustaceans that live in marine, freshwater, and terrestrial settings worldwide. Not all isopods are parasitic, but the nathids, a family of isopods, are. The larvae consume fish blood, earning them the moniker sea mosquitoes. During the day, cleaner shrimp and fish like Rassi eat them off the parrotfish's skin, allowing the parrotfish to keep them at bay. Unfortunately, as the cleaner fish depart for the night, the parrotfish respond by ejecting a mucus cocoon. The mucus cocoon acts as a mosquito net, stopping the isopods from getting to the parrotfish. Number 12. Jawfish Mouth Brooding it's amazing how many different ways fish procreate and give birth to their offspring. Some species, such as mandarin fish, disseminate their eggs into the water and let the chips fall where they may, with no care for survival of their young. The parental male holds clutches of eggs in his mouth until the offspring hatch in another kind of protected reproduction known as ichthyologists, as mouth brooding. The male broods the baby's eggs in his mouth with little assistance from the female on most cardinal fish and jawfish species, generating a fascinating role reversal compared to active females in other species. While you may have never seen a mouth brooding cardinal fish or jawfish in person, the males are more common than you might imagine. The trick to finding cardinal fish, which belong to the Apogenidae family, is to seek a fish with mumps or mouthful of too much food. The fact that their cheeks are puffy is a dead giveaway. Males with eggs in their mouths like to stay in narrow area, making them easier to monitor if you're not too aggressive in your approach. Nonetheless, photographing one so that the clutch of the eggs is apparent and conspicuous can be difficult. If you're patient, you probably observe the male open his lips and rotate the clutch of eggs every few minutes. This is a way for the fish to keep the clean eggs while also ensuring access to oxygen-rich water. Number 11. Mantis Shrimp Punches Mantis shrimp, particularly the beautiful peacock mantis, is a favorite of underwater photographers. They're also deadly predators, well equipped to track down and eradicate their prey. A shrimp with the color of a peacock. Mantis shrimp are classified into two groups based on the claws they have. Mantis shrimp eyes are seen to be the most advanced ones. The eyes are on movable stalks with three focal centers apiece and function independently. They have a great deal of success in catching prey. On the other hand, don't mantis shrimp just have superman vision? Their front claws are likewise meant to be deadly killing machines. The punch of a smasher mantis shrimp has the same acceleration as a 22 caliber bullet, generating a force of 15,000 newtons, or over 2,500 times the shrimp's weight. The mantis shrimp has a full energy storage system where it cocks its arm. It has a lash system that secures it. This clasp is controlled by muscle. The flexor muscles tighten when the animal is ready to strike, releasing the clasp. When the latch is freed, all of the energy stored in the meris segment of the mantis shrimp's raptorial appendages muscles and the 
spring-like exoskeleton is released, and the purpose and hammer-like dactyl punching part segments of the appendage rotate forward at incredible speeds and accelerations. The shrimp's unfortunate prey is hit twice. The shrimp's claw was first, followed by a shockwave created by the fast strike. Number 10. Crocodile scoops up babies into the mouth. A mother croc with her young closer than ever is filmed by a spy croc hatchling revealing the compassionate side of a violent beast. A Nile crocodile comes ashore in Uganda to gather her young. Despite having nature's most powerful bite, she gathers them in a throat pouch beneath her deadly teeth and leads them to the water. Along during the voyage is an animatronic spy croc. If the babies aren't dead, the mother will carry them to the water in her mouth where they can swim immediately. Fish and small terrestrial animals such as lizards, insects, and grasshoppers are eaten by the young. Although the crocodile has the strongest biting force in the animal kingdom, the bite force of a combed crocodile in northern Australia, for example, is about three times that of a lion or a tiger bite. His jaw is extremely sensitive. It's even more delicate than a person's fingertips. With all his apparent thick skin, how is it possible? The crocodile's mouth is coated in hundreds of sensitive bums, as it turns out. Each nerve ending emerges from its opening in the skull. The nerve tissues of the jaws are protected by this structure, which also renders them sensitive. The crocodile can tell the difference between edible and non-edible substances a result of this, and female crocodiles can carry their young in their mouths without harming them. Number 9. Incredible Moment Hero Dog Saves Best Friend From Drowning in the Swimming Pool a brave dog saves her best companion from drowning in the backyard swimming pool. While dog owners wonder what their canine pets do when they aren't around, few envision a dramatic rescue like the one that occurred recently in a backyard pool in Boxburg, South Africa. The day could have ended terribly for Chucky, the lucky toy Pomeranian pooch. The tiny 13-year-old puppy slipped and fell into the family swimming pool, and while being able to stay afloat, he was unable to get out. He could have easily become exhausted and drowned if he had been alone. Thankfully, his best companion, a seven-year-old Staffordshire Bull Terrier named Jesse, was with him and sensed his distress. As evidenced by the home security camera footage of the terrible episode, Jesse was desperate to get him out. We can see Jesse attempting to figure out how to pull Chucky out of the water without injuring him in scenes from the footage, and it's the nicest thing. We don't see in this brief film that Jesse rescued him after 34 minutes of trying, she just wouldn't give up. Chucky may be seen standing quite close to the pool's edge in the footage. He stumbled and fell into the pool just a few moments later. Later, while attempting to stay afloat, the dog failed. Jesse came to the rescue as the dog struggled. Number 8. Fainting Goat The internet is full of screaming and fainting goats, but what is the truth behind the memes? You may have seen footage of goats keeling over and being immobilized in terror. Perhaps you've gone on a deep online search and discovered many videos showing goats screaming along to Christmas tunes. Not all goats go through convulsions. The Tennessee Fainting Goat is a breed famous for falling over. Myotonic, stiff-legged, anxious, or wooden-legged goats are other names. <laughs> On the other hand, the goats do not pass out from fear when they fall. Myotonia congenita is a congenital illness that affects the skeletal muscles used for locomotion in the Tennessee Fainting Goat breed. The relaxation of its muscle can be delayed when the muscles are actively tightened while fleeing away from a potential threat. The muscles become rigid and the animal is unable to move. The reaction is usually triggered when a myotonic goat is startled by loud noises or quick movement. The rapid stiffening of muscles as the animal tries to flee can lead them to fall over, giving the impression that they have passed out from fear. The illness affects some goats more severely than others. Number 7. Antimil Most ants use their eyesight to navigate, but some army ants are completely blind and they can become disoriented and march in circles until they exhaust themselves. It's called an ant mill, one of nature's oldest spectacles. Army ants find their way by following pheromone trails created by other ants. However, if enough of them lose the scent, they begin to follow the ant in front of them, forming a massive ant spiral. Due to their lack of vision, the creatures cannot break free and march in a circle until they die.
Furthermore, it is possible to coerce them into this odd behavior, albeit at the expense of the ants. Simply direct the ants into a contained area, such as a plant pot, the largest ant mill ever unearthed, measured 1200 feet in circumference, with each ant taking two and a half an hour to complete a circuit. Army ants are one of the most efficient killing machines in the animal kingdom when they aren't marching in circles. The insects, which are said to be native to South America, hunt in swarms above to 200,000 individuals and can kill 100,000 living things per day. They consume almost anything that moves, and there is virtually little defense because they attack in such large numbers. Number 6. Cat Burglar Loves Stealing Neighbor's Shoes this kitty from Pennsylvania has dedicated his life to theft, but his owner is apologizing for the feline's misdeeds. BJ Ross of Altoona, Pennsylvania started a Facebook group earlier this month to deal with one of her beloved cat Jordan's bad habits, stealing other people's shoes. The six pound black and white kitty's nightly routine, according to WTAJ, consists of going out, stealing some shoes from the neighbors, and then coming home with the stolen goods. He's acquired quite a collection of filched footwear. On the other hand, Ross is hoping to return the shoes to their rightful owners through their Facebook group, where she uploads photographs of the stolen shoes for her neighbors and community members to claim. If you're familiar with Jordan, my cat, Jordan's burglary activity is being monitored via a social media group with around 3,000 members. Y'all will be aware that he loves to bring me home some shoes. In the group's profile, Ross said it was simply labeled Jordan. One, two, or three shoes are dragged home by this small little cat every single night. He gave me dead mice, live snakes, dead and live birds, garbage, including an empty chip bag and a rubber glove last year, Ross stated. I began spotting shoes in my yard in January of this year. I didn't think much of it and threw them away. As the months passed, my mother suggested that I keep the shoes to track down the proprietors. Number 5. Young Male Bower Birds Pretend to be Female to Steal from Robotic Spy Bird Human men aren't the only ones who flaunt themselves in front of the ladies. When contrasted to the courtship displays bowerbirds put on for females, they are trying to entice their attempts at a romance a little shabby. Imagine if a man constructed a house and filled it with all your favorite things to win your favor. A male bowerbird does exactly that, constructing a stick shelter or bower and lavishly decorating it with everything he can to find impress the female in question. But that's not all. It turns out that bowerbirds are picky about the objects they put in and around their nests. Female satin bowerbirds appear to favor blue, which may explain why they have evolved such startling blue eyes, causing males to prefer blue objects above those other colors. Furthermore, male bowerbirds build their bowers so they can produce an optical illusion. Objects are not strewn around their cord at random but rather in a size gradient, with smaller objects closer to the bachelor pad's entrance and larger objects away further. This optical illusion is known as forced perspective, and it causes all the things to appear to be the same size while the pavilion's entry looks smaller than it is. Number 4. Skokomish River Salmon Cross the Road during October and November, drivers in one western Washington county must exercise extreme caution because chum fish are likely to attempt to cross the road. You read that correctly. The Sokomish River floods during the yearly salmon migration, resulting in the fish swimming over a Mason County road. Every year, the Skokomish River watershed receives 100 to 120 inches of rain. According to the outlet, the river has become the most flood-filled place in western Washington. According to the outlet, on Fox 13, reporter even captured footage of a couple residents attempting to catch fish as they crossed the river, which isn't a good idea. This whole fish swimming across the pavement scenario happens every year due to high yearly rainfall quantities, the peak of chum salmon season, and the road's proximity to the river. In 2018, a DFW representative told Atlas Obscura, when the river overflows its banks, you'll get a huge bunch of fish that'll follow the river wherever it goes, even if the following river means crossing a road. Although some salmon may reverse their course and return to the river, most of them will continue into a field on the opposite side of the road. They'll either be an easy meal for nearby terrestrial species or a source of natural fertilizer for the soil from there. Number 3. Hundreds of manta rays leap into the air. 
Flying rays, also known as mobula or devil rays, are enigmatic creatures. They are similar to sharks but have long, flat bodies and wing-like pectoral fins, making them great for swooping through the water and seem at home in the air, earning the name flying rays. When these rays congregate in huge groups, they leap magnificently from the sea, with some of the most spectacular jumps reaching over 6.5 feet above the water's surface. Although marine biologists cannot agree on why they breach, various theories have been proposed. One theory is that they are trying to escape being devoured by predators like hammerheads and bull sharks. A social explanation is a second, and more likely explanation for this behavior. Jumping could be used for courting, dominance assertion, or just communication among the broader group. A third potential explanation is that breaching the surface may assist in cleaning parasitic feeders rays on their skin. However, no final solution is sufficient. So, what exactly is going on? Is there something incredible going on? Is it possible that they are changing and attempting to learn to fly? Do they believe they can fly? Manta rays and eagle rays are among the most magnificent species globally, so let them fly. Or are they privileged to have a good time? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Number 2. Smart Green Heron – Using Bread as Bait to Catch Fish While green herons were not included in the top 25 most intelligent non-human animals list, one specific green heron recently illustrated why they should be. Anglers dumping bread into the water or using grubs or worms on their hooks to attract fish are thought to have inspired the bird. Herons are the world's bait fishing champions, according to the BBC. Seven of the 12 bird species known to use bait to capture fish are members of the heron family. These birds have discovered that sites where humans regularly feed ducks and swans, usually with bread, are excellent fishing spots. In the Galapagos Islands, a blue heron walks across a beach. Andrews, Candace Gockle, so, instead of exchanging the bread for a fish, why didn't the heron just eat it? We can only assume that the heron understands that fish protein is a better energy source than carbohydrates. Thus, it's worth foregoing the bread for the fish. Let us know if you have your theory, or if you've seen more evidence of intelligent bird behavior. Number 1. Emus play with ferret toy. The emu's last wish was to play with a ferret toy. It got the opportunity to do so and wouldn't let anything distract him from catching the fun of its life. A view which shows the session of the emus clinging so tight to the toy like its life depends on it shows us that not only humans can be addicted, but animals also can be addicted to something and wouldn't mind if it will take their life. Ostriches were found catching the fun of the breeze around the emus without paying attention to its activities. One of the ostriches was seen to be enjoying the move of the emus and chose to spend most of its time around the emus and its love. It squats, jump, dance, rise, run, and continue giving different poses to make the atmosphere more lively for the emus. Maybe the ostrich activities are what could have caught the attention of the other ostriches led them to surround the emus and try to discover why it clings to the toy. They tried to separate it from its toy but couldn't until an ostrich was seen perking its body in its head. True love, they say, never dies. Indeed, it doesn't. Despite the pain and agony from the ostrich, the emus clings to its lover with all its strength and can only hope that the ostrich will realize it's not going to ever let go even if it means losing its breath to this. Animals would never cease to amaze humans. It's a great privilege to have experienced all these strange moments in the animal kingdom. Which of these scenes do you find the most amazing? Let's know in the comment section below.